Okay, section 4.2, number 52, we have y equals 4 sine, I'm going to write that as sine theta cubed, like that on the outside, minus 3 cosine theta squared, and we want to look at this on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So our derivative is going to be, using the chain rule, 12 sine theta, derivative of sine is cosine theta, minus, all right, here we're going to have 6 cosine, and I'm oh, sorry, this is 12 sine theta, and this will be squared, and then times that, all right, and then 6 cosine theta, and the 2 minus 1 is just going to be to the 1 power, times the derivative of the cosine, which is negative sine theta. All right, and so um, we could write this, let's just do 12 sine squared theta cosine theta plus 6 sine theta cosine theta. You want to set this equal to zero, so we can start by factoring 6 sine theta cosine theta out of there, and you will get, um, let's see what we get, well you get 2 sine theta plus 1 equals zero. So now we just need to know when 6 sine theta cosine theta equals zero, or when um, 2 sine theta theta plus 1 equals 0. Now this is going to be equal to 0 when the sine of theta equals 0 or the cosine of theta equals 0. And this will equal 0 when the sine of theta equals negative 1 half. Now thankfully we're only looking at this occurring on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So 0 to 2 pi the sine of theta is 0 at 0 and at um, pi and then also at 2 pi. The cosine is 0 at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The sine is equal to negative 1 half, um, let's see, at 7 pi over 6, and then again at 11 pi over 6. So all of these numbers, and including your endpoints, but you'll notice that your endpoints show up, are going to need to be tested, and you'll pick the largest one will be your min, and the smallest one will be your max. So you go to y equals, make sure your mode's in radian, and then uh, type in your function, which is 4, and then when you type this in, you have to do the sine x in, per, in its own set of parentheses, and put the 3 on the outside, and then minus 3, again with this, you have to put cosine x in its own parentheses, and then the squared on the outside of that. And then we'll go to the table and we'll try our values, which were 0 and then pi over 2. It's going to go in order. And then pi. And then we had 7 pi over 6. And then we had 3 pi over 2. And we had 11 pi over 6, and then finally 2 pi. So we're going to kind of have some ties here for, well, let's see, uh, no, actually, negative 4 and 4. So at pi over 2, and then, oh, I forgot what this one was. Um, let's see, it was 0 uh, pi over 2 pi. Um, so that's 3 pi over 2 is that 4.7. So at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2, it looks like where we have our, our um, max and min. The min is at 3 pi over 2 and the max is at pi over 2. So this was our max and this one is our min.